Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and welcome to your Who is Coming Towards You in Love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for um, tuning in. So this is for Gemini. Who's coming towards Gemini in love? Who is coming towards Gemini in love? You have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who I feel is very optimistic. Definitely wants a new beginning with you. Who's coming towards Gemini in love? Wow. These are all really positive cards here. Lots of admiration that they have for you. On the back, you have the devil. So I do feel like this person is not coping very well without you in their life. All right, Gemini, this could be someone who is um, overthinking, obsessively thinking about this connection. Um, and I feel like it's because they're very unhappy with how things are going between the two of you. They feel this very strong pull to you, but I feel like um, it's it's becoming quite unhealthy for them. So starting with the Nine of Pentacles here, there's a lot of admiration um, that they have for you, Gemini. They are viewing you as the Nine of Pentacles. So they feel like you really have all the qualities, all right? They feel like you're very abundant. A lot of you are. A lot of you are very successful, very, you know, well-established and accomplished. A lot of you could even be financially abundant, but they see you as someone who has abundance and there's a lot of admiration here. They do recognize your worth, all right, and your value. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Let's see. You have the Page of Wands and you have the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Cups. All righty. So starting with the Nine of Pentacles being clarified by the Page of Wands here, there's a message that you are about to receive. Let's look more into this message here. Clarify the page of wands. You have the moon. Yeah, this message is going to reveal a lot about how they feel for you. Especially for those of you who were in a situation where things never really got to start off between the two of you and they never express how they feel. Oh my gosh, I feel like Gemini... What I'm seeing here is that this person is really going to be pouring their heart out to you. I mean, you have the Ten of Pentacles, all right? This person truly believes that you are the one for them, all right? They believe that you are the one. They believe that it is you who they should be building a future with. And let me tell you, they're not wrong because the Ten of Pentacles is here. All Ten Pentacles symbolizing the future that the two of you hold with each other, all right? When the Ten of Pentacles comes out, it, it is talking about something long-term, all right? It's saying that this person wants a future with you, all right? All of their ideal goals that they want in life, marriage, children, they want to have those things with you. They believe that they will have an abundant future if they choose you, and they have chosen you. But I feel like this is an overwhelming amount of love that they have for you. I mean, this is the maximum pentacles is 10 and you have it right here symbolizing the connection, all right? This is what they have been hiding from you this entire time, that they want stability. They want a commitment with you. They want more. This is not just like casual dating that they want with you now. They want a relationship that's going to progress, that's going to, you know, where the two of you can build a future with each other. And I feel like their feelings are so, their feelings overwhelms them. And that's most likely why they've been keeping it from you. But this communication here is certainly good communication. Wow. In clarity of the nine of pentacles, you have the 10 Gemini. Oh my goodness. Ten of Cups. We just have the Ten of Pentacles. Now we see the Ten of Cups here. This is someone who they want something long term. Like, I don't know how else to say it without being repetitive. They believe that you are their life partner, Gemini. 
They want this with you. They want stability. They want a happy ending with you. Even here with the Four of Pentacles, this is what they've been keeping from you. Notice how the Ten of Pentacles and then the Moon. So they were hiding this from you, right? Their feelings with the Ten of Pentacles, they were hiding it. They were also hiding the fact that they know that you are their person. They know you are the one. But there's just been with the Four of Pentacles here, it's like, I don't know if they're hesitant or what, but they have not been showing that to you. Oh my gosh, they're coming out as the emperor. They're coming right towards you. All right, Gemini, with the emperor, this is someone who is very determined to get the situation under control and to get what they want. All right, I always say when the emperor wants something, he will find a way, he'll sit, strategize on how he can get what it is that he wants. Wow. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles here represents a new beginning, an abundant new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, they're coming in. I know this is a what's coming towards you reading, but they're coming in. <laughs> okay, um, let's see the death and you have the seven of wands. Wow. I feel like this person knows that they have unfinished business with you. I even feel like for some of you Geminis, this person has completed some cycles in their life in order to free themselves and to be able to come towards you for this abundant new beginning. You also have the chariot. This is major. The chariot is literally someone who's on a journey. This is forward movement. Going on a journey towards you. You have the death, which makes perfect sense. This individual here has gone through a major transformation. And I literally just said that I felt, I felt like they had put an end to a lot of things in their past in order to free themselves and to come towards you. You have the Seven of Wands. My, oh my. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Oh my gosh, Four of Cups. I feel like um, they're, they know, the thing is, Gemini, they know that you'll reject them, which is why with the Seven of Wands, they're so determined to get you not to reject them. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I see. In Clarity of the Seven of Wands, you have the Ten of Swords. They're so afraid of you betraying them and rejecting them. Because you rejecting them is going to make them feel this Ten of Swords here. It's going to make them feel really defeated. Because they've gone through a lot to put this end to their past in order to come towards you. They did a lot of work to go through that transformation with the death. And for you to reject them, man, it's going to make them feel so defeated. You have the temperance. Clarify the temperance. You have the king of swords. You have the two of swords. justice oh my gosh you guys are going to be continuing this continuing this connection connection you have the temperance oh i can't even talk you have the temperance which 
um, represents balance and harmony. That's why they're coming in. This person has good intentions. They're coming in as the king of swords. This is someone who's going to be very blunt, very honest, straightforward, transparent with you. And they, they want nothing but honesty and transparency from you as well. This is someone who wants to get to the bottom of this and for the two of you to get back on the same page with each other and work together, okay? There's a lot of sincerity here. You have the two of swords. I do feel like this is how they view you, Gemini. They view you as the two of swords, someone who's confused, conflicted about them, uncertain about them. That is why they want to come in with the king of swords, prove themselves to you and show them who they really are to you so that you won't have to be so conflicted and guarded. They want to show you that they want to work with you on this connection. And you have the justice here, all right? I feel like this person, you know, whatever it was that happened between the two of you has certainly made them look bad. It left a really bad impression on you. But the justice card is saying, you know, they're going to get another chance to show them who they truly are. Wow. Even here on the back of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. All right. So the Six of Swords is moving things towards calmer waters. That is what they want with you. More balance, more har harmony between the two of you. So we're certainly going to be doing an extended so that we will look more into who this person is to be able to pinpoint them. All right, you guys. So um, see you guys in the extended. The link to the extended reading is in the description box. You're also welcome to book a private reading with me. That link to my website is in the description box as well. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe um, to support my channel. Thank you guys. All right, and take care.